It's Bonnie. Happy Sunday. Happy August 1st. We are that much closer to Halloween, you guys. <laughs> so it is fitting that I am reviewing one of the brand new Kringle Candle Halloween pre-order candles. I am a Kringle Candle ambassador and Kringle did send, send me this candle to review. So I'm so excited to share this one. Um, you can still order the Kringle Halloween candle pre-order right now. Uh, they are starting to get sold out. I'm going to talk about that. Um, if you do use the code QueenGeek, you will get 15% off your order. I will put the link below. So last night, Kringle Candle, I always love this time of year, seriously. Like when Kringle Candles do their pre-order, Halloween season has started. <laughs> so um, what happens with the pre-order is they ship around September. Um, it's a little bit cooler then. Uh, it's much easier to ship when the weather is cool, when you're shipping candles. Um, so when you order now, that is when they will ship. There are 16 of them this year. Six are brand new. Two have an updated um, scent. I'm, is Spectre up yet? Spectre was one of the ones that was not up last night. I don't know what's going on with that one, if they're going to add it to the run later. Keep checking. I feel like this is just going on all over where Halloween stuff is selling out. We all know what happened at Bath and Body Works <laughs> and now Kringle. So, um, Halloween sold out at like, you know, four to five hours after they started the pre-order last night at midnight, and then they restocked. Um, and I think part of it has to do with any company. Um, it's the point of sale system. They probably have to just catch up and make sure they have enough inventory. Um, but right now, the ones that are sold out are the Graveyard Night, um, Haunted House, which is always a favorite. That one is spectacular. Uh, Lady in White, uh, which a lot of people were interested in. Scarecrow, unfortunately, is sold out. This is the one I'm reviewing for you today. And then Sleepy Hollow, which is another one that was super popular. I know people wanted um, that new one is sold out. So still a lot of them available. Uh, my favorite, Poison Apple, is still available. Witch's Cauldron. Um, so I'm going to start reviewing uh, these candles. Blood Moon, brand new. I did get Black Cat. And I did get Fright Night to add to my collection. So I'm super excited about that last night. And then um, I got to talk about this Scarecrow. I am really hoping they do restock Scarecrow. Let me pull up the scent notes on this one. First of all, oh my goodness, you guys. The camera is not even picking up the amazing detail in this jar. So if you go on my Instagram account, I'm Queen of the Girl Geeks One. I took a photo, and what's really interesting about this candle and really spooky is that there's actually a face, like a human face, on the scarecrow. It's not just a silhouette. So the detail, I don't even know if you can see it if I get really close. But um, the detail is more vivid in person. It is, like, downright creepy. <laughs> but it's creepy in, like, an awesome Halloween way. If you have any um, love for scarecrows, I don't know if anyone really does, um, or if you just love that really neat creepiness um, of Halloween, this one just embodies that. Uh, the label is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And I've got this one burning. Check out what happens with the um the flame see how it reflects i was talking about last night uh so you get this really neat like copper look so this is what scarecrow says this one is brand new this year um a, a scarecrow welcoming the scarecrow into your house with open arms is a no-brainer little homage to uh wizard of oz there <laughs> Um, except this scarecrow is a lot scarier than the scarecrow in the Wizard of Oz. Um, the top note is tobacco oriental, mid is bergamot herbal, and the base is leather and amber. And as soon as I smelled this one cold, I was like, you know what? I absolutely love this candle. Um, it does not smell like cigarettes. The tobacco is very um, integrated into the scent family of this candle. And it's funny because I lit this one up on our 
dresser in our bedroom and I had it burning for about an hour and my husband walks in and he's like what is that that's amazing <laughs> he was like really over the top excited my husband usually doesn't get too excited about candles like he'll be like you, you know like if I'm burning a foodie one he'll be like oh you cooking a pie or baking is it no I'm not <laughs> but um this was actually one of the first times I've actually seen him go what are you burning? I really like that. So I don't know. That was a testament. So um, this one has a really unique scent. It is not overpowering though. I would say the throw on this one is about a solid medium. It's not light. It's not strong, strong. Um, I was a little bit worried it would be like overpowering because I don't like when you've got like a scent like tobacco or leather for it to be so overpowering, it like takes over the room. I like it to mingle with my um, with my atmosphere. <laughs> I do have the windows open today, though. And um, it just created a really nice, solid, medium ambiance. Um, and our bedroom is really big, so it was filling the room. Uh, it did take a little while to get going. Um, sometimes I always say, like, sometimes you light a candle and, like, the minute you light it, you're like, whoa, that's really strong. Um, this one I could smell. This was a little bit of a slower start, but once it got going, I'm like, oh, my gosh, I love this one. So what's interesting about this one is that the tobacco and the leather blend so they don't like overtake each other. Oh, the imagery on this one. Oh my goodness. You guys know how much I like color and design and how it wraps around the scent. I love a good jar and no one does Halloween like Kringle with these amazing jars. So what I like about this one is it's completely different from any of the other ones I feel like in the Kringle line for Halloween. So for example, you know me, I love Witch's Cauldron. I love the Haunted House. Those have a very distinct Halloween, smoky, like Shakespeare vibe going on, creepy haunted house. I love those. Absolutely love them. This one, on the other hand, is really unique. So notice how we've got like this sun back here, this glowing yellow. That is very um, indicative is how like this smells. It's a very warm scent. So the tobacco, the leather, the oriental sweetness, the amber, they all mix together. And um, what I like about it is when a lot of people see leather, like when I hear... <laughs> When I think of leather, I'm thinking like um, the movie Grease, <laughs> like the T-Birds. Like when I think leather, I think leather jacket. This doesn't smell like a leather jacket. It's not like that really pungent leather. By the way, that's one of my favorite movies from the 70s. <laughs> um, it's not leather like that. It's not like cigarette smoke. It's this really amazing warm, sweet, leathery, herbal tobacco scent that just kind of envelops the room. Um, and I, I, I really do love this one. I'll have to say, um, I liked it cold. I'm loving it burning. And it's funny because even after I took the candle out of the room, I moved it from our bedroom into the filming room for a while. And my husband walks into our bedroom and he's like, I can still smell it. And it smells really good. It really gave the room um, a nice scent even after the candle was gone. So I was like, wow. So it's almost like you're walking down like a really creepy, you know, like um, road and like at dawn, this creepy scarecrow appears. This has got like Stephen King novel written all over it. Seriously. <laughs> um, I just love it. I, I think Kringle did a fabulous job uh, with everything about this candle. I cannot wait till you guys get this one if you ordered it. I think it's going to be a really nice transitional scent um, to take you from like late September into October. Um, I actually, if they go back, 
<laughs> online. I actually, um, if they get restocked, I actually want a second one of these. <laughs> this one is absolutely fabulous. So, so far, as far as the new ones, um, Scarecrow is my favorite, which I said yesterday. I loved it cold, uh, but I have confirmed that it is my favorite one <laughs> now that I've got it burning. Um, I'm just going to burn this one for about another hour. I don't want to. I don't want to go far too far down. <laughs> But I am loving this one. It's nice and cool today, too. But um, like I said, totally different than Witch's Cauldron Haunted House. It's got its own amazing vibe. I can't wait to try um, Blood Moon and um, Nightmare. I have a feeling those are going to be two of my favorites, too. So anyway, let me know what you guys think of these scent notes and the imagery. I know you don't have the candle yet, but oh my gosh. I am so excited for you guys to get your hands on this one. Um, keep checking online. I don't know if they're going to restock. Uh, I don't know when or if Spectre is going to be coming online. And I am a Kringle Candle Ambassador. And if you use the code QueenGeek, you'll get 15% off your order. I'm going to keep this one burning, like I said, a little while longer. Oh, one other little like imagery thing that I've got going on is that it's got a little bit of a library vibe. You know how I am? I love a good library. <laughs> but it's an old library. It's definitely got some dusty books in it. <laughs> so anyway, let me know what you guys think of the scent notes on this one. I know you don't have it in your hands yet, but oh my goodness, you guys. I am so excited to hear what you have to say about this one when you get it. I will see you later. Bye-bye.